Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's been about another two weeks, I think, since um, since my last video, but things have just still been super busy at work and everything, so I'm a little bit behind. Um, lots has been changing. We had a huge storm on uh, on Saturday, and uh, that kind of wreaked havoc with my garden, so I'm gonna show you some of that stuff and insert some pictures. So, for example, my greenhouse was totally blown over. Um, luckily, I didn't have a ton of plants left in there anymore, but there was still just enough for it to be a real bummer um, for it to kind of fall over. Um, I set it all up and I rescued um, everyone. I don't think anyone that was in the greenhouse really got hurt, so that was really good. Um, but outside of the greenhouse, quite a few things actually got damaged, which was really super sad um, because everything's been going so well and I've really been working hard at making the yard kind of the best it can be this year so I'm going to show you that um, otherwise everything's been growing really really well I did start a second garden bed just for kind of my overshoot tomatoes because I did have all of those wild tomatoes you know the volunteer tomatoes that were growing so I'll show you those they're getting big I'm leaving a few in there just because I can't be bothered to take them out anymore so I'm just going to take you around pretty quick because um, it is getting dark and I'm going to try and upload this hopefully tonight I don't know if it's actually gonna happen but so anyway I'm gonna start my garden tour um, and back here isn't this cool um, it's our new tractor that we got <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start here um, at my raspberry bush it got sort of blown to pieces so this part um, was kind of staked up and this whole part was more over here so that's a real bummer um, it's nice though it kind of hides the end part of my little trailer house <laughs> um, then my lettuce is doing super well but it's I think it's gonna start to bolt pretty soon so I'm probably gonna take it out and um, try to plant a more summer hardy variety then here my little memorial beds doing really well um, these calendulas I think they are no primulas they still haven't come back and started blooming so my orange part of this is missing um, but these are doing great um, there was a few days where I forgot to water them and uh, they sort of dried up but they've recovered since and then uh, here's the fever few this thing is humongous I mean it is just taking over and the dogs are barking at the sheep um, then the wind really damaged these little flowers, my little baby petunias, um, which is a real shame, but I think they'll come back. I mean, I've killed so many of these guys and they always come back eventually. Um, my kale's doing well. They're flowering though, which is strange. I don't, I didn't think it was hot enough, but whatever. Um, this spinach I'm actually going to pull out. I just haven't done it yet. I pulled out all the others because they had leaf miners. In case you don't know what spinach leaf miners are, it looks like this. Also, these guys are all arguing because Hope is in heat right now. Um, and then the, oh, stop. Sometimes you just gotta yell at them. Um, and then everything in here is doing great. Right over here, um, this lettuce also is doing really well. I'm gonna take it out eventually. Um, my Thunbergias, they are tiny and blooming. I'm sorry about all the growling going on in the background. Um, these are blooming, they're doing pretty good, um, but they're tiny and I don't, I don't know why they're not growing faster. Then over here, these are all growing and blooming, which is going pretty well. So here are my little lettuces. Um, they look a little wilty because I've been pulling some out, so it kind of disturbs the root, which isn't great for them. But you know, I gotta eat. And then these little, I don't know, these guys are growing super slow. Um, they're all beans. And I don't really know why, so who knows. Then right here, some more plants that I got. They're all just the same. Nothing really has changed. The kale's still slow growing. Um, the cucumber's growing pretty well, but it, I don't know, not as fast as I would imagine. Everything's growing kind of slow. Then here's some more beans and tomatoes, and another cucumber and some beans, some flowers and a cucumber. This is that um, Itachi cucumber. I finally planted it, um, and it looks great. Nope, it doesn't want to focus. So um, there might be some tiny little flowers there. And here's this little cat. Just get him out of the way. Then right here, this is one of the victims of the storm. So the flowers obviously are doing great. I do need to take off the deadheads just so that they keep blooming. But so this plant here, 
it tore right here on the stem. I don't know what's going on with my camera and why it won't focus, but um, yeah, that's kind of a shame. I don't, I hope it, I hope it, you know, survives this. I don't know if it's going to, I don't know what's gonna happen to the blooms, but we'll see. The roses are blooming very nicely. And then we're back over here. So here's another victim of the storm. It's uh, it's this, this sunflower here. I had it tied up with this wire and I bet it broke just because it was kind of a perfect, I don't know, alignment of bad circumstances that I had the little wire here and the bamboo stopped right here. And so the wind probably just blew it against the bamboo and it knocked it over. Um, to make up for that, I planted some little petunias that look really, really sad right now, but they were on sale, a pack of four for 125 at Walmart. So I just got them. I got some jasmine still growing. This sunflower is doing great. Raspberries are all doing great. This sunflower is doing well. This one here is right now my new pride and joy since the other one died. You can see how all the tomatoes are getting bigger. It's just gonna be like a tomato bush basically. And here's my Paul Robeson tomato, which is looking great. I was honestly, I was most worried about this when the storm was going on but I'm really glad that nothing happened to it. And here's my crooked little bush, still crooked. Come on, come on, let's go. Okay, and now we'll go up to the planter boxes. Okay, in here, obviously as you can see, my lettuces are growing really well. So I'm gonna start harvesting these once the ones down by my house are done. Um, the cucumber is going pretty well. It's kind of growing up on this little bamboo stick. And then this is my parsley. Everything looks kind of weird because I just watered it. Um, and this is another cucumber. These are my tomatoes, which, uh, sorry, not tomatoes. <laughs> I mean my potatoes. They're going crazy right now and I'm super happy about it. Got some more little beans, another cucumber right there. Um, this is a tomato. I got a bunch of carrots in a row here. These are still those um, those onions that I bought at the store that I just cut off, and I'm going to trim them actually pretty soon. Um, then I got a bunch more lettuce here that's going to be um, be ready to get eaten soon. Then here I got some sad looking lettuce because I just transplanted it in here from a planter that I had in the greenhouse that fell over. So I'm hoping that they'll recover. Um, then right there is a bunch of, I think it's bok choy actually. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I wish I'd planted more, but I didn't. These are all my carrots that are planted way too tight, but honestly, I don't know how I can pull them without hurting them, because they're so close. Um, here's some basil. I had no idea that I actually planted some basil in here. Turns out, I did. Um, then here are a bunch of beets, and I think this is a kohlrabi, just like one single one that came from who knows where. Um, so these are my raised garden beds right now. Um, the way that they're looking. I'm gonna plant uh, some more stuff kind of as I pull things out, I think, especially where the lettuces are. I'm gonna be replacing those. I also think I'm gonna pull out that chard pretty soon and put in some, you know, some new plants. In here, it's just a weed bed. I, I did plant some things, but only one came up, and this could be either a watermelon or a cantaloupe. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Um, here's a bunch of garlics and a random wild radish, which is here. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. And uh, I didn't know it was a radish until I pulled it out and sniffed it, and it was, so I left that second one. The raspberry bushes are doing pretty well. They didn't get as high this year as they did last year, so it was almost pointless for me to put up this trellis because they barely even reach it. Then, because of the storm, this little patch just is a total mess now. I'm gonna redo it, I think, uh, this weekend, kind of to go over everything and maybe do something more permanent, something that looks a little better than this currently does, because it, honestly, it doesn't look great. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have some blueberries this year, which I'm pretty happy about, so you can sort of see them coming in here, but it won't focus. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna have to get like a little focus board that I can hold behind everything. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. Nope, okay, not gonna focus. So anyway, that's it. Um, this is sort of my little garden area as it is right now. 
And um, that's pretty much it for the update, I think. Okay, so um, that's really it for tonight. Um, that's all that I have going on in my garden. Nothing's, you know, I haven't had any fruits of any kind yet. It's right now everything's just kind of in the growing and flowering stage. Um, the good news is that after the flowers come the fruits. So <laughs> I'm super excited. I've really been waiting for my tomatoes to start, um, to start blooming and then start producing fruit. So that's what I'm most excited for. Um, I really hope that we don't have any more storms like we did. The other night, I mean, it was really terrible. Actually, in the intro, that was part of the storm, and it, it was worse than it looks. I mean, it was just so windy. There was, like, debris all over all the roads and everything, and uh, tons of my plants died. So, yeah. Hope we don't get another one of those storms. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you some fruits then. But who knows? Um, if there's no more storms and my cat stops destroying all my plants, I'll be able to show you that. Um, also, in a little bit of further news, I'm going to get my summer FabFitFun box, which I love. I totally missed the customization for it, and I emailed them, and they were super nice. So they actually let me customize it, even though customization was closed. So that's on its way, um, and that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!